We are back on the morning brew, and this is great. We got our friends Seth and Alex from the rail yards this morning, and this is cool because this weekend it's the kids edition essentially yeah. the rail yards, right? Yeah, you know we have uh, Dan. We have a theme every week, and this Sunday is Kids Day, so we have these folks from the Fractal Foundation. Oh, those guys are yeah. fun because they do the projections and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So your kid can come come there and uh, create some fractals, and they do some explaining on how fractals work. And I, I'll probably sit in to learn what fractals are myself. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Very cool. And so it's more than fractals. We got music this weekend yes, too. Yes, that's right. We got celestial blue, alpha blue, a little bit of a blue theme, and then Seth Hopkins. I'll, I'll be wearing blue. So. And he'll be wearing Excellent. Blue. <laughs> Excellent. So what kind of music do you do, Seth? Do you do kids music generally? Uh, or? I do all kinds of music, but uh, being a, a school teacher as well. Mm. A lot of my music has uh, been sort of geared towards kids. I do some more geared towards kids, some to adults, but everything's for everybody. It's usually a very positive message. Mm -hmm. Are you getting ready for school to start already? I am. When does it start? Is it next week or week after? Uh, for some schools they start next week, for some schools the next week. And after where do you that. teach? Where do I you... teach at Mountain Mahogany Community School, which oh. is a charter school in the North Valley. Very cool. And the when you're, as you're teaching, do you find that kids want to learn and hear songs about certain kinds of things, or is it all just like dinosaurs? Mm, no, you mostly just dinosaurs. Yeah, no, no, anything. Real, really, music that's is Alex is a, too, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Just mostly dinosaurs. Barney, yes. dinosaur. Barney yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, but music is a is a really powerful tool because it reaches people uh, in a ways that a lot of times traditional education doesn't necessarily reach people if you don't fit in that box. Where music is so universal, I find it a very successful teaching tool, and I sure enjoy it as well. Very cool. So do you sing your class? Every day. That's awesome. That's awesome. Mm, yeah. So the rail yards this weekend, it's its more than just music and fractals, though. I mean, there's, there's right. a giant kind of thing. If you haven't been to the rail yards, it is so much fun. I was there last weekend, and I had, I had some food from is this Senor Tortas. Senor Tortas, yeah. And this guy, I, it's, he's like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like full, it's, it's street meat. Yeah. But brought in, and it's really excellent, That's right? That's right, and he cooks it right there, and he cuts uh -huh. off that, whatever that's The barbacoa. Right? Barbacoa. Yeah. Right there, which right is like there. one of the cool, like, just traditional ways to Muy cook rico. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Rico. absolutely. And you just, you just, you know, you say, I want a taco with that, and he slices it to meat <laughs> right, right off the, it's amazing, yeah. right off the roast And then right, right next to him is some local grower and fresh mm -hmm. food, and, you know, we want to get to the place where we can incorporate the local food, with fresh in our, in our restaurants from farm to table, I suppose, but using more of our local growers. That's very cool. So, how much longer in the in the season then do you so have for the we're rail yards? Because we're already at the getting there. Point, yeah. Know, so um, August second was basically halfway point. We're going all the way through the end of October, October twenty fifth, and so uh, August thirtieth is the day where we'll be off. So just so, so that everyone knows, this year the fifth Sunday we're off. Yeah. And so that's this August coming up. Very cool. I know that the city wanted to use the rail yards for other things yeah, on some no, Sundays. Yeah, that's exciting. The you got to share, we right? Built. we got to mm. share. Share the love. And, and the city, they're great people. They're doing great things over there. There's always events down there. Right. So what's Genie and the Hummingbird? Well, Genie and the Hummingbird, it uh, is the name of the book. And your, it's also... Your, go ahead. Your new book that you're yes. actually... Yes, yes, yes. And it, and it comes from a song. It's, all, it's a song as well, which... I'll play in a little bit, but it's from a true story about my very first day being a teacher, and I was in the library at the school before school started, and there was a hummingbird that actually was stuck in the library, and all the teachers were trying to tell the bird how to leave, and everyone was asking where Janie was, who happened to be the school nurse, and uh, the moral of the story is that everyone is, uh, can receive information in different ways, and Janie, who was the school nurse, she knew the way to set this hummingbird free was to cover all the windows make uh, so no light could get in, then they turned the lights off and then opened the door so the sunlight came in and she set the bird free and it was uh, a metaphor for teaching that all kids can be reached but in a different way. So the song is a true story. Um, I made up one part that the hummingbird was in the library because it was looking for a book to become a tooth fairy for, <laughs> for a side job. That's, that's the only part, and, that's that, and that might be true for all I know. Right. Hey, you gave away the ending of the book. Uh, <laughs> I'm just yeah, the, the publisher here wants you to keep no no spoilers, no right? Spoilers, right? Yeah, no, I, and I know that you, you've got this little publishing company. How yeah, many books like this do you guys do a year? We have two uh, out so far. Communitypublishing.org. But we've got about three coming out this year with Hakeem Bellamy and Seth Hoffman. 
the Keith Sanchez. So we, oh, Keith. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the cool thing is that they're multimedia. So they have music, and so in, in, in Seth's book, you'll hear him playing as well. And the way we capture that is using QR codes on a print book. You open up the book, there's your QR code. And on your mobile device, it can go up, and you can hear the music as well. That's very cool. In English and Spanish, then you know. Oh, we're que bien. Bilingual. Que bien. Juanita y el colibrí. También. Juanita el colibrí. Oh, of course, because colibrí is the is that Spanish for hummingbird? Yeah, of course. It took me a second. I got to go back into the memory banks here and think back to like my ninth grade Spanish. Donde está la biblioteca? <laughs> well, you've got a, uh, gracias. You got a song for us this morning. Yes. Yes. If you want to uh, get to that, we'd love to hear. All right. Because this is part of what you're going to be performing this weekend. Yes. Uh, it's, it's Sunday. Sunday at the yes, rail yards, and you guys have new hours too. Sunday don't you? ten to two. They've been a hit, and yeah. we were there. And uh, seven 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 uh, First Street. Can't Very cool. It, you just go down First Street, right where it, right where the street kind of banks there. That's, That's where you right. can go and right. it head right on into the rail yards. Well, with, turn it away. Take it away, man. Well, this is right awesome. Here, I go over there? Go on over yeah. here. Yeah, we got we got a microphone set up for you for the guitar and everything here. All right. Good deal. And Seth will be playing at the rail yards this Sunday, August 9th. Do we know what time he'll be on? He'll be on at uh, 11 o'clock. Excellent. All right, you got a sound over there? All right. So as I said, this is a true story. It's a little sneak preview about uh, Janie and the Hummingbird. Has anyone heard there's a hummingbird stuck in the library? She just came to look for this one book on how to be a tooth fairy. The pays a ride and you work at night and she already got a wing. In old days she would hum and play and do all her favorite things. She floated in from where she'd been about an hour ago. When she was through her worries grew and how to leave she didn't know. This part you can sing along to it goes. Has anyone seen Janie? She'll know what to do. Janie's friends to all of the animals. When she gets here, I can show you. She saw dozens of her cousins, each one hanging from a string. She asked, where's an open window? But they didn't say a thing. She perched her toes on a hummingbird's nose, or was it a beak or bill? Was so afraid that's where she stayed She had some time to kill What a sight to see in the library Doesn't happen every day Some teachers saw and watched and off Said little bird you're gonna be okay Alright, all together now Has anyone seen Jamie? She'll know what to do Janie's friends to all of the animals here I can show you. The hummingbird wouldn't miss her family if she never made it out. What a shame she'd never learn what a tooth fairy's life's all about. She started to get hungry, but there was nothing in there for lunch. Didn't see any of those hanging red things with hummingbird Hawaiian punch. How'd she get herself into this mess? She thought with such dismay. Came in somehow, don't remember now. Can't seem to find the way. Here we go. Is anyone seen Jane? She'll know what to do. Janie's friends to all of the animals. When she gets here, I can show. Now here's the part where Janie comes. Finally, someone found Janie and she got there right away. We all listened up real closely to what she has to say. First thing we've got to do is cover the windows. Went to all the shades and blinds until everyone was closed. Then she shut the lights, opened up the door, letting in the beaming sun. The bird took flight right towards the light, saying goodbye to everyone. Well, now Janie worked her magic, just like I said she would. 
Give directions to the hummingbird in a way she understood. Sometimes best to use music, sometimes best to use words. Sometimes it's best to change the light to talk to hummingbirds. I learned a lesson on that day when our friend she was set free. That everyone can find their way, that we find it differently. Last time. It took Alex and I a couple of verses there to remember the words, but we got it down. By the end, we had it. But we, There's a lot of words. Lot. Right? We'll see you on Sunday at the Rail Yards. In the meantime, we're going to come back in a couple of seconds with our friends from the Macaroni and Cheese Festival. Oh, yeah. Right? That sounds like so much fun. In a couple of seconds in the Morning Brew with Friends.